So, in the previous video, we have just finished the chapter number 4, prime numbers and the composite numbers and now, in this video, we will start with the chapter number 5 that is HCF and LC. So, first of all, what is HCF and what is LCM? Let us discuss about that. So, if I take a number that is 48 and a number that is 72. So, here first of all, I am just explaining it by my own. Okay, students. So, if I want to take out the LCF of 48 and 72, what I will just do is, I will just do 48 and take its factor. So, 2, sorry, yes, I am just using the prime factorization method for the uh, taking out the HCF of 8. So, 2 to the 4, 2 for the 8, 2 on the 2, 2 to the 4, 2 6 the, 2 3 the, and last is 3 1 the. So here, the factors of 48 are how many times 2? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times 2. 2, 2, 2, 2 into 3. Now, moving further and taking out the factors of 72. So, what will be the factors of 72? 2, 3 the 6, 6 to the 12, 2 1 the 2, 2 8 the 16, 2, 2 9 the 3, 3 the 3, 1 the. Okay students, so here the factors of 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. So, here you can see we have to find the highest common factor. So, this is the LCF of 48. Highest common factor. Okay, students. Highest common factors. Here the 3 is the highest common factor, the LCF is 3. And now we are talking about the LCM. So for LCM, here for LCM I can just take first of all factors of 48. So I can just take these factors only. So 48 LCM. 48, how many do 4? 1, 2, 3, 4 and lastly 3 and on 72 is 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. So in this we have to find the lowest common factor. So first of all do it by your own students and then after I will just explain it. Factors are 1, 2, 3, 4. So the LCM that would be 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So 3 to the 6, 2 to the 4, 6 to the 24 is the LCF. And there is an another method of finding that. So that is 20, sorry, 48. Seventy-two. So first of all, trying with two. Two to the four. Four the eight. Two three the two six the twelve. Two twelve the twenty-four. Two one the two. Two eight the sixteen. Okay, students. And now also moving with two. Two six the two nine the. In again with 2, I think uh, yes, 2 3 za, 9 as it is, and lastly 3 1 za, 3, 3 3 za, 
3 so you can see students here we get that is this is the factors of it so here I think we have made a mistake over here students but now I will not see that mistake I will have done that answer over here so Now, directly moving towards C here in that first topic, the prime factors is given. Okay, so the prime factors how to find the prime factors and there is an tree given over here. You can look at that picture first of all. Okay, students. So in this video today we will see how to find the HCF. Okay students. So finding the HCF but before that we will see the prime factors of the numbers. So for that there is I am just reading see here over here prime factors of a number the factors of a number that are prime numbers are called prime factors of a number. Factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. So the prime factors are 2 and 3. Here going to further factorization. Factorization means expressing a number as a product of its factor. For example, 12 can be expressed as the product of its factor in the following ways. 12 1 are 12, 12 6 are so 6 2 is 4 3 is 12 2 into 2 into 3 so prime factorization there is a method known as prime factorization prime factorization of a number is the method of expressing a number as a product of its prime num factors we can find all the prime factors and prime factorization of a number by building a factor tree so here the factor tree is given of 48 so we have to find first of all a factor 3 of 48 here if I take 2 then how many 2's are 48 2 1 2 2 are 4 this ok and this will remain as it is 2 and here 2 12 are Again, this will remain as it is, this will remain as it is, this will remain as it is, and this will come over here. Again, this will remain as it is, and 2, 3 is up. Okay, so here the factors are, I mean, sorry, prime factors are this. These are the prime factors that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Okay, students, so these are the prime factors. Now, we have to find the prime factors of 60. How we will find the prime factors of 60? So, here, finding the prime factors of 60 over here. First of all, 2, 3 plus 6. And after 2 will remain as it is, 2, 15 the 2 will remain as it is, here also 2, 3 into 5 that is 15. So these are the prime numbers and we have get the prime factors of 60 that is 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. So the prime factors of 60 are 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 are the prime factors of the 60. Now moving further, see here exercise 5.1 that is given over here. In that we have to find the prime factors. Okay students, we have to find the prime factors. So from that I will just explain you A, B and C and 
D and E you have to do it by your own. Okay, I will not solve that. So here, first of all, a tree is given in exercise 5.164. How to find the prime factor tree of 64? Let us see that, students. Exercise 5.1, question 1a. Okay. So, that is 64. So, how we will find the factor tree of 64? First of all, 2. 2, 3, the 6. 2, 2, the 4. Then we will do 2. 2, 3, 2, 1, the 2. 2, 6, the 12. Then after this 2 will remain as it is, this 2 will go, this 2 and this will be 8 to the 16. Again this 2 will as it is, this 2 will also remain as it is, this 2, 2 into 4. And again this will remain as it is. So this is the factor tree of 60. Four. You can see students, this is the factor tree of 64. Now, B, that is 72. B, that is 72. So, finding the factors of B, that is 72. Here that is 72. So finding the factor tree first of all 2. Okay. Then 2 3 za 6. 2 6 za 12. Here 2 will remain as it is. This 2. 2 1 za 2. 2 8 za 16. 2 will remain as it is. This 2 will remain as it is. 2. Here will be 9. And then 2 will remain as it is, this 2 will remain as it is, this 2 will remain as it is, and lastly here 3, 3 is a 9. Okay, friends, 3, 3 is a 9. This are the factors now of 72, that is, that was B, and last I am just solving, that is C. You can also solve if you don't write over here these things okay then it will be okay let us see the another c one in that we will not write this much things only this we will write is these two lines only then it is also okay students now moving towards c so c is 90 C is 96. So C 96. So first of all, here will be 2. 2 4 is 8. 2 8 is 16. We will not write this 2. So 2 here. 2 to the 4. 2 4 is 8. This we will not carry over this 2 and 2 12 is a this will not be able to carry 2 6 is a 2 3 is a so these are the prime factors of 96 ok students these are the prime factors of 96 you can see which from here to here. So I am just writing that the prime factors that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. How many will 2 plus 2? 4 plus 1, 5. 2 plus 2 plus yes, into 3. So these are the prime factors of C that is 96. Okay, students.
these are the prime factors in this way also you can calculate or in this way also you can calculate in this what I have just carried to over here so at last we can know that these are the factors in this you have to take this all things ok please note down the students and now just moving further up, uh, going to the highest common factors and here in the notebook they have tell that in question number 2 so the exercise 5.1 question number 2 question number 2 in that you have to draw in your notebook so one I will draw over here and one you have to draw in your notebook ok students Question number 2 Drawing factor 3 Draw factor 3 of 2 double 8 and 152 that you have to do it at your home. So just drawing this over here 2 double 8. So first of all, 2. First of all, I am just writing this side so that uh, you don't. So, 2 double A. So, first of all, it will work with 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 fours are 8, 2 fours are 8, then 2, 2 sevens are 2, 2 twos are 2, 2 threes are 6, 2 sixes are 12, 2, 2 ones are 2, 2 eights are 16, 2 9s are and lastly 3 3s are 9 so from this you can say that the factors of 2 double A see here the factors of 2 double A are this see here I am just writing that 2 into 2 into how many times to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 yes. 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 here you, you can't see so I have written over here in the down 5 2 1 2 3 4 5 and 3 2 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 so these are the factors of 2 2 uh, uh, sorry 2 double H please note down these students and now we will move towards highest common factor Sixteen. 
So these are the factors of 16 and then we are pointing the factors of 18. Yes, 18. 1 into 18, it is 18. 2 into 9, it is 18. 3 into 6, it is 18. 4 and 4 table, 4 by the 20, no 18 doesn't come. 5, 5 in 5 table also not. 6, yes, 6 threes are, then comes 9 twos are, 18 ones are. So here you can see the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. So here what you have to see first of all we have to find the common factor of 8. So the common factors are 1 is there, yes, 1 is there. This is the common, 2, yes, 2 is there. 4 not there, 3 not there, 8 not there, 9 not there, 6, 18 not there. So the common factors common factors are 1 and 2. So from this we have to find the highest common factor. So the highest common factor that is 2. Highest common factor that is 2. So it's HCF is equal to 2. Okay, students, it's HCF is equal to 2. Now, see, the, this description is given over here. I am just reading that. Let us find the common factor of 16 and 18. Find factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. And common factors are 1 and 2 of this. 2 is the highest common factor, then it is HCF. The highest common factor of two numbers is the highest number that is the factor of both numbers. We shall use this method of listing prime factors to write the HCF of the given number. The HCF is also known as the greatest common divisor. So here the example have they have given the example. So the find the HCF of 12 and 18. Find the HCF of 12 and 18. Here HCF is, is 2 and 3. So that is comes 6. HCF, HCF comes 6. Let us do that students. So, that we will just do over here. So, they have told us to find the HCF of 12 and 80. 12, example number 1. 12 and 18. Okay students, so here first of all finding the factors of 12. 1 into 12 that is 12, 2 into 6 that is 12, 3 into 4 that is 12. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12 and now doing as 18 1 into 18 2 into 9 3 into 6 4 not 5 not 6 yes so the factor of 18 are 1 2 3 6 9 18 ok students so these are the factors from this we can find the common factors see here common factors are 1 2 3 6 
and this. So the common factors, the common factors of common factors are one, two, three, and six. And the highest one, the highest one, that is which is the highest one that is 6 so the HCF is equal to 6 so the HCF is equal to 6 ok students and there is another method given over here in the textbook so let us solve this by that method also so this sum again with different method and you have to use so you have to decide which method is to be used used okay and uh, that method is of prime factorization method okay students so here the prime factors of 12 2 6 za 2 3 za 3 1 za so here the factors of prime factors of 12 are 2 into 2 into 3 and factors of 18 that are 2 9 the 18 3 3 the 9 3 1 the 3 so the factors of 18 are 2 into 3 into 3 so here the common factors that is 2 into 3 that is 6 you can see the HCF is 6 and here also HCF is 6 ok students this we have find according to the prime factorization and this according to the normal that's it means the highest factor which is that okay students so you can use both method from which we have to use so i will prefer this method because it is much harder than this one so in this what you have to do you have to find the factors and just common out the factors and you have to write the six okay and here you have to find this much things and this is I think easy method so we will, I will just continue with this method I will not do this method again and if it is necessary then I will do it so example number 2 So the factors of 15 are which 3 and 5. Here now find the factors of 20, 2 tens are 2 fives are and 5 ones are. So here the factors of 20 are 2 into 2 into 5. So the common factor that is 5. So the HCF is equal to 5. Ok students, HCF is equal to 5. Please note down this. So, there is a exercise 5.2 given over here in that they have just tell that find the HCF of the following using the method of prime factors so in exercise 5.2 you have to use this method for finding the HCF ok students so first of all you just do at, do in your homework and in next video I will solve all these 8 sums ok students now you in, write down your homework So homework is exercise 
5.1 question 1 d e and exercise 5.2 all okay students so that you have to be in your homework we will meet in the next video okay bye students